What up? Welcome party people to day one of the vlogs. My name is Timothy De La Ghetto. Been on YouTube for like over 13 years. Whenever someone asked me like, what do you want to be when you grow up? I would say famous, you know what I'm saying? That was always the plan. I just like, I knew I was going to be entertaining people somehow. Hey, what up YouTube world? It is I, Timothy De La Ghetto. I stumbled across YouTube. I was like, oh, I've never seen a website where anybody can upload any footage from their phone or whatever. And I started just uploading just like stupid webcam videos. Hey, what's up YouTube? And since there weren't a lot of people uploading back then, I started to hit like these most viewed lists, you know, and then I thought, oh, this might be a good way to maybe get my face out there. <sighs> okay, here we go. So I kept doing it. Oh, Took it a little more seriously, the more people started watching. And here we are. <laughs> Oh, Gordo's sketch, one take one. Yeah, I wrote something stupid at like 3 a.m. last night, and today I'm gonna shoot a little sketch. Come in and be like, all right, El Gordo, we got you. Some shit like that. All right, El Gordo, you said everything you need to hear. Put your hands up, you're under arrest. It has to do with a Popeye's chicken sandwich because, you know, that's all the rage right now. <laughs> that works for me. I always like performing. I always liked just being on stage, entertaining people. Everybody in my little group, we all were just big like rap fans, hip hop fans, ever since I was like a little, little kid. I started just freestyling with, with the homies, just goofing around. Big Tim, yo, I bust like M80s and I got fake ice from the back of the source. I bust these freestyles with no remorse. Look where I'm at, guys. And then Wild and Out came about and it was perfect because it was funny and it was rapping. Like the show was always a good time, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of energy, you got a lot of rap rappers and comedians and comedian rappers. So it's always fun. I feel like a lot of these kids that watch me, they're like, Uncle Timothy Dale I Ghetto raised me. I think it's time that I pass along this knowledge to you guys. You know, I used to do a lot of like uh, sex and relationship advice for the, for the high school kids. So they would write in and ask me for advice. And especially being like an Asian American, I felt like a lot of these young, shy, awkward Asian kids didn't really have anybody they could talk to about that stuff. I was giving them advice they couldn't get from their family. So uh, all you gotta do is be confident, um, don't care about rejection, just walk up like you're the biggest Mac in the whole wide world, and she thinks you're the hottest dude in the whole wide world, and then you will succeed. I still upload pretty consistently. I have like a podcast that I do every week on there. What's up, y'all? Welcome back <laughs> to another episode of the No Chaser podcast. It's kind of the same thing. Now it's kind of like a whole new generation of, of kids I'm giving advice to. We were together for almost three years and now it's gone and it hurts. Oh, that sucks for him. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I've been there. Look, I've, I've been on that side. I, I want to give people a way to get their mind off of whatever's bothering them and whatever might be bugging them. Bruh, you are tripping, okay? In addition to my vibe of just like, not caring what other people think. It's always been like, hey man, who has time to worry about the bullshit? You know, life is short, let's just have a good time. The only thing you have control over is yourself and how you react to everything that's going on. And that will make the difference between you being in a horrible mood and you enjoying life. And me, I wanna enjoy life. Let's go. YouTube has opened up so many doors. You know, I feel blessed that the amount of people that tune in still tune in. I'm happy with where I'm at. Like, uh, it's been a super busy year. Like 2019 has been like, probably like one of the best years ever. I really wanna just take it next level in terms of my own content and brand and what I'm doing. I've been talking about like writing a movie, but I'd love to be, you know, starring face of a movie. And I'm um, just trying to just elevate on every level, you know? <laughs>